Another blow to U.S. revenue from China's top chip equipment makers surged. Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. In this episode, we delve into the recent surge in revenue generated by China's top chip equipment makers, which has sent shockwaves through the tech industry. We explore the implications of this development and its potential impact on the United States' dominance in the sector. Through significant investments in research and development, they have managed to narrow the gap with their American counterparts. The surge in revenue serves as a testament to their growing influence and technological prowess. What are the factors contributing to this growth? And what is the implication of this surge for the United States and its position in the global tech landscape? The trade war between the U.S. and China escalated in 2018 when the U.S. imposed tariffs on billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods and China retaliated with its own tariffs. The U.S. also targeted China's tech sector, accusing it of stealing intellectual property, violating sanctions, and posing a national security threat. The very first U.S. sanction on a Chinese tech company since the trade war began was in April 2018 when the U.S. Department of Commerce banned American companies from selling components to ZTE Corporation, a Chinese telecommunications equipment maker. The U.S. alleged that ZTE had violated a 2017 settlement agreement by failing to discipline employees who had illegally shipped U.S. technology to Iran and North Korea. The ban threatened to cripple ZTE's operations as it relied heavily on U.S. suppliers for chips and software. After intense negotiations, the U.S. lifted the ban in July 2018 after ZTE agreed to pay a $1 billion fine and replace its board of directors. However, the U.S. continued to impose sanctions on other Chinese tech companies such as Huawei, Hikvision, and SMIC using the entity list and other export control measures. The trade war has had a significant impact on the global tech industry, disrupting supply chains, increasing costs, and creating uncertainty. The U.S. and China have been fighting over trade since 2018, and China's government has been giving more money to its tech industry to help it grow and make new stuff. The NFTTC is a big fund that the government uses to support tech companies in China. By the end of 2022, the fund had given almost 36 billion yuan, more than 8 billion US dollars, to 616 companies and had helped them make more than 1,000 new products from their research. The fund covers different kinds of tech, like AI, biotech, new materials, and new energy. The fund is part of China's plan to be more independent and creative in tech, especially when the US is trying to stop them from getting US tech. China's tech fund is also a way to challenge the U.S.'s power in investing in new ideas around the world. The fund's strategy is to support the entire chip supply chain, from design to manufacturing to packaging to testing. The fund also supports the development of chip-related equipment and materials, such as lithography machines and silicon wafers. The fund's goal is to help China close the gap with global leaders in chip technology such as Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company TSMC and Samsung, which have a dominant position in the market for high-end chips. The fund also hopes to foster a vibrant ecosystem of innovation and entrepreneurship in the chip industry by providing financial incentives, policy guidance, and market access to promising startups and research institutes. One of the fund's most notable achievements is its support for Huawei's chip division HiSilicon, which designs its own chips for Huawei's smartphones and other devices. HiSilicon has been able to produce a 7 nanometer chip for Huawei's Kirin 9000S processor. This chip is used in Huawei's new smartphone device, the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, which was unveiled in September 2023. The chip is designed by HiSilicon and manufactured by China's largest chip vendor, SMIC. This development has surprised many observers who had expected Huawei's chip capability to decline after the U.S. cut off its access to advanced chip technology in October 2022. Huawei's 7nm chip is just behind the most advanced technology produced by TSMC and Samsung, which use extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography to produce 5 nanometer chips.
However, Huawei's achievement also reveals the limitations and challenges that China's chip industry faces. Huawei has used outdated technology and tools to produce its chip, such as ARM instruction set architecture, EDA tools, and deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machines. These tools are still available to China because they are not subject to U.S. export controls. However, they are also less efficient and more costly than the latest technology and tools that are used by TSMC and Samsung. For example, DUV machines need 3 to 4 rounds of patterning to finish 7 nanometers chips, while EUV machines only need 1 round. Moreover, Huawei's chip yield is very low, meaning that many of the chips are defective or unusable. This makes it difficult for Huawei to produce enough chips for its devices on a mass scale. Furthermore, Huawei's chip may not have true 5G capability on par with Apple's technology. Beside those good news, China's has another good news. Revenue from China's top chip equipment makers surged in the first half of the year, research released last week showed, as Beijing continues to aim for self-reliance for its semiconductor industry. The top 10 domestic equipment manufacturers logged revenue of around 16.2 billion Chinese yuan, $2.2 billion, in the first half of the year, up 39% year-on-year, according to Shanghai-based Sino Research. Semiconductors, critical components that go into everything from smartphones to satellites, have been caught up in the broader technology battle between the U.S. and China. Washington has sought to use export restrictions to cut off Beijing from key semiconductor equipment and technologies. The chip supply chain is incredibly complex and made up of numerous companies, ranging from sellers for design tools for semiconductors to firms involved in manufacturing and relevant machinery. China's domestic semiconductor industry has previously heavily relied on foreign companies for these tools, leaving Beijing's industry behind the likes of the U.S., South Korea, and Taiwan. Since 2019, U.S. sanctions on Chinese technology firms such as Huawei and China's biggest chipmaker SMIC has forced Beijing to boost its domestic industry and seek more self-reliance and wean itself off foreign technology. That has underpinned the boost in revenues for China's domestic chip equipment manufacturing firms. Sino names Nora Technology Group Company as the top Chinese semiconductor equipment maker by revenue. The company produces tools required in the chip manufacturing process. Nora operating revenue in the first half of the year stood at more than 7 billion yuan, up 68% year on year and outpacing other companies. The second largest Chinese domestic player is Advanced Microfabrication Equipment Incorporated China AMEC, which makes machines required for the semiconductor manufacturing process. Revenue rose 28% year-on-year to 2.53 billion yuan in the first half of the year, Sino said. ACM Research is the third biggest Chinese player. It makes cleaning and packaging equipment for semiconductors, with revenue surging 47% year-on-year in the first half of the year to 1.61 billion yuan. Still, China lacks access to some of the most advanced chip-making tools around. For example, Dutch firm ASML makes a chip-making tool called an Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Machine, one of the costly instruments required to make the most advanced chips around. But ASML has been restricted by the Dutch government from exporting these machines to China. Those restrictions, in addition to concerns about further tensions with the US, are one reason why Beijing has turned to its domestic firms. However, it appears China's semiconductor industry is making some progress toward more advanced chips, even in the face of US sanctions. The news that China's top chip equipment makers saw a surge in revenue in the first half of the year may be a cause of concern for the U.S., which has been trying to limit China's access to advanced semiconductor technology. The U.S. has imposed various sanctions and export restrictions on Chinese tech companies, such as Huawei and SMIC, accusing them of stealing intellectual property, violating sanctions, and posing a national security threat. These measures have threatened to cripple China's tech sector, which relies heavily on U.S. suppliers for chips and software. However, China has not given up on its ambition to become a global leader in the chip industry, which is vital for its economic and military development. China has launched a series of initiatives to boost its domestic semiconductor industry and achieve self-reliance and innovation in this strategic field. 
One of the most ambitious initiatives is the National Fund for Technology Transfer and Commercialization NFTDC, a state-backed fund that aims to promote the development and commercialization of key technologies in China. The fund has invested in more than 600 enterprises and helped turn more than 1,000 scientific achievements into products. The fund covers various sectors such as artificial intelligence, biotechnology, new materials, and new energy. However, the fund's main focus is on the semiconductor industry which accounts for more than half of its investments.